Hi, welcome to my blog today. My name is Tom Shu, and today we're going to learn how to properly hold a camera. I see a lot of people when they shoot their camera, they don't really know how to hold it. Okay, there's so many different types of cameras and there's so many different types of lenses, but you know, there's pretty much only a few ways to hold the camera correctly. Yeah, Joe McNally has this ninja grip thing that he, you know, does this crazy thing. You know, I'm not trying to show you something like that. I'm just trying to show you how to hold the camera in such a way that your shots won't be blurry and you can focus quickly and acquire things quickly. Uh, first of all, I'll let you know that I like to shoot guns and I collect guns and I build guns. And why is that important to do with photography? Well, when you hold a gun or shoot a rifle, there's a way you hold it, okay? Your body has got certain anchor points. Your eye is a point. When you hold the camera against your face, you know, you don't want to hold it loosely, okay? You want to just hold it right up against your face. Just, like, plant it right on the side of your face. And now you have an anchor point against your head, okay? And now when you put your arm into your body, see, I see a lot of people, when they hold their camera, they'll, you know, they'll be like this with their elbows taking pictures. Or they'll be like this with taking a picture. And, and they got these elbows flailing around. And I see them focusing like this, okay? Well, all of those types of things are, you know, letting things move. First of all, the camera's not against your face. You know, it's kind of free to wobble around. We want the camera to be locked out against your face. So just the way I do it is I just take the viewfinder and I just lay it right against my eye and my face, okay? Next thing, when you hold a rifle, you take your elbow and you turn it into your body and it comes against your body. So, you know, if you don't have a, you know, a big belly like me, you can get right onto bone-to-bone -bone contact and that becomes your second point your rifle butt would rest right in there and so does your lens your lens rests right on there so now you've got two points of contact so it's laying against your face so when you take your hand away over here you know the camera is still steady for the most part and this is a stabilizer now what I like to do is I like to take and put my elbow into my body like this and then bring it to the camera and then when I press the shutter I use the tip of my finger the same as I would a trigger just a pad of your finger right onto the tra onto the shutter release and when you press down, it's one smooth movement. None of this, you know, when you press it, the camera moves. You know, it's locked out against your body and one slow press until you depress the shutter, okay? So it's pretty simple stuff. Something like this. Bring it into your body. I like to use these hand grips. A lot of people have a camera strap and it gets in the way, especially if you work off a tripod. Uh, this camera strap's wonderful because it, basically takes your whole hand and sticks it on the side of the camera and locks it in so it's nice and tight okay and you leave it loose enough to where you can still get all your dials on top so this is the way I would take a picture bring it in focus take a shot that's it as I get better at photography I've learned a few tricks one of them is hand holding the camera a few benefits of it you can hold longer exposure um, if you're shooting in bad light, low light, weddings, indoors, you're going to handhold for longer. They put, you know, VR and Nikon lenses and IS image stabilization and Canon lenses, and they charge thousands of dollars of it, and it gets you one stop extra. One of the stop, they're saying three stops, four stops, you know, okay, whatever. I'm saying that I can get another stop usually just by handholding with manual focus glass. I shoot manual focus, I can pick up one to two stops sometimes without having to jack the ISO just because I can hand hold the camera without moving it and it's again because it's resting against my face and my hand comes up to the side and when I shoot I shoot so there you have it in portrait mode it's the same thing okay your camera's laying in your hand your elbows against your body drop it in your hand bring it up to the side same thing right on the face except my brow becomes the contact instead of my side of my face because the camera doesn't have a lot of surface area when it's in portrait mode, okay? When you're in landscape, yeah, the side of the face and I just peek through the viewfinder, okay? In portrait mode, you notice that my cheek rests off the camera, so now it becomes my um, eye socket, the bone on top of my eye. That becomes the contact point. Same thing, elbow in, tight against your body, 
and you should be able to take this hand away and it shouldn't affect anything on focus so there you have it i want to thank you all for taking time to visit my blog today if you have any questions about what i've talked about or you disagree i'd love to hear from you if there's any type of topics that you want to know about or learn about just any kind of questions you don't understand feel free to just go in the comment section and drop me a line and we'll address it i'll do a special tutorial just for you so thanks for visiting my blog today until next time we'll see you soon Thank you